Hi everyone, it's Georgie here and for those that don't know me, I'm a senior motion graphics artist with a specialism in kinetic typography. I do weekly tutorials on YouTube all about kinetic typography within After Effects. So make sure you hit the subscribe button if you want to see more of my videos. In this week's tutorial, I'm going to be showing you how to get text to react to audio in an interesting and easy way. So let's jump straight in and I'll show you how I've done it. Okay, so I'm going to start off by typing the word audio in the middle of my composition. And today I am using Founders Grotesque Type um, in bold, and I want to align this in the middle. So using my align tool here, I'm distributing it horizontally and vertically. And then I want to move my anchor point to the middle, so I'm going to press Y, hold down Command, and just pop that in the middle. And the next thing I'm going to do is bring in the song that I want to animate to. So I've chosen uh, this one, Sincerely Lost, from Audio Network. If I hit L twice, it brings up the waveform for me. I'm doing this because I want to choose an interesting point in the song for me to use as um, something to animate to. So I'm going to just chop off this beginning bit and go to this bit here. And if I play this song... You've got interesting beats in it that the text can animate to. And the next thing I'm going to do is right click on the audio layer and go to keyframe assistant, convert audio to keyframes. And that brings up a new null object that says audio amplitude. So if I double press U, it brings up all the keyframes in the layer. We actually don't want this left and right channel. So you can go ahead and delete those and just use the both channels slider. Cool, so next thing we're going to do is add a new adjustment layer. So I'm going to right click on the timeline, go to new adjustment layer, and then I'm going to get displacement map from my effects panel. So I'm going to drag that onto my adjustment layer. And then I'm going to go to my assets folder in here and bring over this static video. I found this on Google somewhere. You can find any sort of um, video you like online and use that. Um, but something with texture, I like this one just because if I play it through, it's got lots of different movements to it. So I'm going to use this one. I'm going to turn it off in my layer because we don't need to actually see it. We just need it to be in the composition. Then if I go to my adjustment layer again and effects control and where it says displacement map layer, go to the drop down box and select that static layer. Um, for it to react to. So if I was to play that now, you can see that it's reacting, the text is reacting because the adjustment layer is above it and it's connected to that static video. So we want to connect it to the audio so that it animates to the audio. Now to do this, we are gonna go to our displacement map settings on our layer. And then I'm going to scroll down and turn my expressions on for the vertical displacement and the horizontal displacement. So if I hold down option and click the stopwatch for both of those, and then I want to pick whip. So using this pick whip here, I'm gonna drag it to the slider and I'm gonna do the same for the horizontal displacement. Now, if I was to press play now, You can see that it's reacting to the audio already, but it's a bit hectic. So we can control this um, by going to our audio amplitude layer and double pressing U to come up with the, all the keyframes. And if I hold down option and turn on the stopwatch, we can add in um, a, an expression. So ease, uh, open brackets and type in value. And I'm gonna use these numbers, but you can play around with it. What this expression is doing is it's telling the layer to ease between the keyframes um, at a value of naught for horizontal and five for vertical. So if I press play, and as you can see, it's already a quite, it's already subdued it a bit too much. So I'm actually gonna turn that up to 15 and let's try naught at two. And it's that easy to get text to react to an audio track. I'm gonna take this a step further and create a bit more of a composition out of this animation. So I'm going to put all of this into a composition by pressing Command Shift C and putting text in there. And I'm gonna duplicate this so it goes all the way up the screen.
Okay, and once I have a nice amount duplicated, I'm gonna create a null object to animate all of these. So I'm gonna right click in my timeline and press new null object. And I'm going to connect all of these using the pick whip to that, pe that null object. I'm gonna hit option P to get my position keyframe and I'm gonna to go to 10 seconds and I'm gonna scroll up until I get to the last audio. And I'm just gonna make sure that I turn off all the audio apart from one. Cool, and then I'm going to pre-compose all of these, so highlight them all, Command Shift C, and put audio scrolling. And then I'm gonna duplicate it, move it to the right, right click on the layer and go to time, time reverse layer, duplicate it again and put it on the other side and then making sure that these are all aligned in the middle. So I'm gonna press command A to highlight them all and then move them into the middle. Turn on my safeguards by hitting the quote mark and then zooming in and then just moving it by eye so that our anchor point is in the middle. Zoom back out again and you've got a little composition with text animating to the audio. And that's it, it's really that easy. You can use any texture you want to create interesting patterns on your text. So if you do decide to try this out, make sure you tag me in your Instagram posts and I'll be sure to share them in my stories. If you don't already subscribe, make sure you hit the subscribe button and I'd really appreciate it if you hit the like button for this video as well. Thanks and until next week, take care.